Alright guys, we're going to talk about basic crank design and how these work, okay? This is a 38mm crank, this is a 40mm crank, and I'll show you how to find that really easy. Uh, you'll find these in 50cc, 80cc builds, you'll find this in like the LD100, BT100, uh, YD100, and Phantoms. <clears throat> This is a long connecting rod. This is a short. You will find these, like an AF80, on this crank, which is the same length as the YD100 rod. And those are found in the 80cc builds. Uh, the only ones that use the short ones are usually the cylinders that have no head. Like the flying horse builds and stuff like that. Or the 50cc builds. So, we'll talk about that later though. But for now, I'm going to show you side by side. Um, we had zero. So, usually about 15.5. Yep. Yeah. These are about 17.2. Close. So, 17.10. Something was in there. All right, we'll do the whole width, which is 42.5. And this is 45 millimeter. The entire length is about 106.64. And the entire length is about the same on that one. What is not the same is the shaft coming out of these. So, well, we got to get that off that pedal. There we go. So, we got 20.4. Should be 18, close 17.8. It's usually about 18, somewhere's in there. We're 32.12, 31.45. We got 24, 22.76, all right, so there's that, rim on this is 15.9. The rim on this is 16.4.5. Alright. So, this crank is a lot heavier than this crank. And this offsets the heavier piston a little bit because of all that extra weight. So when you see somebody drilling out holes in these, there's usually three in the smaller ones for the bigger pistons and usually just one drilled up here. Let me see. There's usually just one drilled up here in the heavier cranks for the same size piston. Now this one here would take three holes that same size. So to balance it anyways. There's not as much mass over here to balance it, I guess would be the logic to it. There's more throwing around on this side. So, anyways. We already went over that in another video. All right, so this connecting rod, if we can do this.
The total length is 117, 116.5. All right. And then on a short one, it's 110.3. So, you got 116 and 110 on the short. So this is a JS50, which is a 50cc rod. Um, the AF80 is the same length as this, except lighter than a YD100 to go on this. And the thickness of these are all the same and stuff. Like this one's 11.2, 11.2. We got 10.7 and 11.3. So. The uh, 80cc one's actually wider. That's kind of funny. Didn't know that. So, anyways, I just figured I would do a side by side. And then, if anyone else wants to know, this is 8mm. And these are 1mm thread pitch. Make sure. Yes, 1mm. Oops. I just killed it. Let's go one to one. Close. So they're one millimeter thread pitch, eight millimeter. Same thing with the hole here. Yeah, well, it's reading the inside of the threads, but the hole itself, we can get it. Eight mil. Smaller key. It could be that that keyway is because this is a used one. No. I'm at two mil. Hey, let's zero it out too. These are slightly bigger. No, two point two. Maybe this one's with one. No, I must have had it crooked. So we're looking at 2.2 millimeter on all those, which is... Probably 332nd keys. Let me go get a key and we'll find out. There we go. So, let's see. Yeah, 332nd, 2.4 millimeter. So that's what the keys are for these. Let's double check, make sure they fit. Nice and snug. Here's another one. Nice and snug. All right. Uh, the opening on this. 13, 14 millimeter almost. About 14. I mean, we're not uh, doing a hole right here. Yeah, it's about 14 mil. Both of these. I just figured I would show a close-up of them side by side and kind of what you get, you know. Oh my god, I almost forgot. So here's the other thing too. This is 38 millimeter. This is 40. All right. 
All that means is that his space, that pin, is about from the edge. It is two millimeter from the edge of that to where the pin starts. And this one would just be one millimeter. Close enough. One millimeter. So basically all it is is this pin has moved one millimeter closer to this shaft center. So from the center point of this pin to the center point of that pin. This would be one millimeter closer than the center point of this pin to the center point of that pin. So I hope that uh, explains it. But from here to the center point of that one would be 20 millimeter. And for this one, the center point would be 19 millimeter from this one to the center point of that the two holes so i hope that uh, explains it one's just 19 center to center and the other one is 20 that much of a difference